Hello, boys and girls. I'm just uh, taking a little break here. I should probably uh, fix my posture. Huh? My posture's not so good. Um, so just taking a little break outside on the back deck. And I'm taking, it's a bit of a departure here, as we say in Boston. It's kind of a departure on my normal Facebook Lives. I already did one Facebook Live this morning. And this one is um, just to go over what I've come up with or what I think are the five sucky stages of selling a house. So we put our house on the market recently um, because we want to downsize and be able to uh, travel and you know just we don't need all this. We don't need two acres of woods. Uh, and it's kind of nice and you know my kids grew up here and it was awesome and it served its purpose for 17 years and now it's time to move on uh in any case um i've come up with what i think are sort of the five shitty sucky stages of trying to sell a house the first stage is uh what i call short-sighted irrational optimism um when you first decide oh hey i have a good idea let's sell our house and then we'll we won't be bogged down and we can downsize and we won't have so much stuff and we can travel more and we'll have more um, funds to help put the kids through college and all that kind of stuff. So the first stage is sort of this completely irrational, unfounded optimism, which is actually quite uh, silly and short-sighted because that doesn't last long. So the next stage is sort of the what I call the punch in the gut reality check. And that's when you realize, oh shit, if we're going to sell this house, we have to get rid of a shit ton of stuff, first of all, because we've been freaking hoarding for 17 years, and barely stop. I'm getting really mad at the other dog because she's distracting me. Um, I will leave you with this house, Bailey. Um, so yeah, so the second stage is um, a punch in the gut reality check where you realize, okay, we have to downsize, we have to sell. Um, we have to fix the house because we really haven't, you know, done much with it in 10 years. Um, no, 17 years actually is when we, how long we've been here. And if I can turn this around, I can show you. So we um, had to do all kinds of repairs and siding. We've got a new deck here. We've got new siding. This was a hole. This corner of the house was literally a hole into the basement. So we had to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars before we could even put the house on the market because it was in rough shape on the exterior just because of the brutal long New England winters and the winters beat the living shit out of the house and even though it's not even 20 years old we had siding rotting we had gutter issues we had um, the deck had to be replaced completely it was all caving in so that was the reality check then the other reality check was like okay well we've got um, 10 rooms full of crap that we don't really need anymore. Hi, Joe. Hi, Elizabeth. Dawn. Um, nice to see you guys. I'm just talking about the five shitty stages of trying to sell a house. First one is short-sighted optimism. The second one we're doing now is punching the gut reality check, and that is when you realize, okay, we're going to have to have about 20 yard sales and donate a whole bunch of stuff and clear out stuff. Because when the realtor comes to look at your house, she's like, you can't show it this way. You've got dog toys everywhere. You've got... Uh, the kids were home from college, so all this shit was all over the place, and we just had way too much stuff. So we've been slowly but surely getting rid of all that stuff. Hi, Irina. And um, getting the place ready to sell. Oh, Joe's been there, done that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig. How you doing, buddy? Um, just talking about the stages of selling a house. The third stage is kind of like the now now you've I've made the you know twenty thousand dollars in repairs I've uh, cleaned out a whole bunch of stuff yeah we're still selling still trying um, and um, what else have we done we've donated a ton of stuff we've had yard sales um, yeah exactly she, she uh, am I saying your name right Shria um, beautiful name by the way um, then that, that stage that Shri is talking about is sort of like the I hate everyone stage, get the hell out of my house. I raised my kids here, how come it's not good enough for your kids, that kind of thing. But the next phase is, oh shit, the sign's up. And that means like, okay, um, people are actually going to be coming in our house now. 
and it has to be clean and it has to be ready and we have to get the dogs out so every time there's a showing sometimes with just a few hours notice hi Catherine every time there's somebody comes to see the house um, I've got to do like a massive cleanup because my kids are home from school during the summer and they leave crap everywhere so um, I've got to get the dogs out of here so like yesterday morning I had a showing at 9:30. oh my god 9:30 on a Sunday morning and Phil how you doing buddy I'm coming out to California, Phil. I'm telling you, I've had enough of this. Um, so we're showing the house. Um, people come through all the time. I've got to get the dogs out, which is a big to-do. Um, I've got it down to about an hour and 45 minutes. Every time I, there's a showing, it takes me that long to clean and mop and vacuum and just do all the stuff that has to be done to show the house. So that's the sort of shits up, shits, oh shit, the sign's up. Um, where we have to show, Catherine says she had one in 15 minutes notice. That's ridiculous. Sit with a six-year-old. I mean, what do you do? You just, so yesterday I took the dogs to the dog park. And, you know, you're basically just clearing out of your own house while strangers come through and judge everything. Um, and it's, you know, it's nerve-wracking. It's intrusive. It's disruptive. And that leads to stage four, which is the I hate everyone phase. So where you just have a general disdain for humanity and you're just pissed off because people are coming into your house and saying, I don't think the kitchen's modern enough or the backyard isn't big enough. Are you out of your friggin' mind? I got two acres back here. Cut down some goddamn trees if you want a bigger backyard. So, um, oh, the school's not good enough. I'm like, your kids are not going to get into good colleges. My kids got into really, really good colleges in this school system, so bite me. Stage four, I hate everyone. And then finally, I think I'm, I'm, I'm between stage four and stage five, where it's the stage five is just what I call, pardon my French, the fuck it stage. Fuck it. That's where you either give up and take it off the market or give in and sell it below what you wanted to sell it for. So I'm not quite at the fuck it stage, but I'm pretty close um, because we've already done all the repairs and the house is clean and looking good. And I'm starting to think like, I'll just stay here. What were we thinking? Why the hell do you want to sell a house? It looks good now. Um, except the fact that the kids will be out of here and, and it's, a, it's really too big. Um, so that's it. Five stages of selling the house. Five sucky stages of selling your house. That fuck it stage was where, where we were the day of the party. Um, yeah, that's like, okay, uh, by the way, somebody wants to see your house and I know you're having a party tonight and you've got a six-year-old, but get the hell out of your own house. Let go! So, um, the first stage, short-sighted optimism, unfounded optimism. Next phase, punch in the gut reality check. We have to fix this place up. Third stage, shit the signs up. Now we have to have showings. Fourth stage, I hate everyone. Um, and the fifth stage, fuck it. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you guys for being here. Sorry for the language, the colorful language. Um, but um, this is maybe the last video you see from this house. I don't know. We don't have. We may have an offer, but... I don't know. You know, I'm like I said, I'm between the I hate people and the effort stage. So thank you all. Um, we'll see you next time. Have a great afternoon and uh, bye for now.